Hello everyone, how's it going? Tim here and uh, today I want to finish up the just unit test that um, I've been um, doing for the past few live streams basically. I guess this is going to be the last one and then I will do the video episode on the uh, unit testing and everything. So uh, I think the only part that is not yet tested right now is actually our epic. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, just go here and uh, Create test folder and uh, we are gonna add epics test. So auth test JS. Let's just jump right in here. So the trick here is that we are actually testing our XJS code and um, the main problem is that we're sending the um, Ajax request, right? So we um, there are two ways. Either we'll have to set up the mock server, which is a bit annoying um, and you know not very convenient, <clears throat> or the other easier method is to override the Ajax. Uh, observable.ajax.post uh, method with a mock method and then just make sure that it's actually called uh, correctly, right? Um, right, so what do we want to do? I guess let's start with that. So let me just really quickly, um, yeah, I don't think actions are actually don't really do anything. I mean, I don't see any point in testing that um maybe identification action but again this uh this is actually i don't like this part but i mean okay we can do refactoring later that's that's not a big deal um <laughs> yeah i guess there's no point in in doing that so let's let's have a look at the reducer tests and um let's see so we need a test function and uh, in this case, we are gonna import what? We are gonna import login, right? And uh, we are gonna import register um, from, do I actually use imports here? I do use imports, okay, good. So from OSGS, right? So now we have um, login epic. And uh, in this case, so let's see, what do we actually, how do we call that? So we call login, which takes in uh, an action stream. Okay, so which means we need um, import um, observable from RxJS, right? So we need an observable. So, okay, so we create an observable um from i don't know like okay let me see our xjs so we need some sort of observable that will be switch mapped and it should be of type uh right okay so what would be the easiest way to create this um i guess ta 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 of one to three i know there's no one i mean i guess we can just say we also need action types here right so that's yeah this this is gonna be a bit tricky there we go action types uh from array type um action types that is do login right so this is what we want um and um let me think so it needs to have the payload which is just something basically that we test payload is test uh, true for example right and that's actually it so what's turned and i mean let me see um I'm just thinking, you know, if there's a way to uh, XHR request, if there's a way to maybe, maybe there's integrated just XHR request. Um, synchronous code, a way to mock the XHR request from the just itself. Okay, this suggests uh, changing the window XML request. Uh, what else do we have? XHR request open. Uh, da, da, da. Synon, yeah, I mean, Synon using Synon is one way. It's a very nice library, but since we're using Jest, which already has a bunch of things, I was hoping. Mm, 
request then let's implement a model that fetches blah 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 promise next tick mock I mean okay yeah you can mock that stuff error handling eh. right uh, sync example mock and um, doesn't really seem so mock functions I mean mocking functions might be a, a way to go here but let me see so we can say it's a mock function and um, can get calls instances mock return values so we need a return value right return value add. Oh, okay yeah so I guess we can just say that uh, in this case this is our um, input so let's let's call it test input stream right and then we're gonna say um, Ajax is gonna be just uh, function then what we need to do is we need to say that observable um, wait there I think there was a way actually to restore mocks as well wait a second uh, do, 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 mock implementation restore no it wasn't your um, yes I don't need your now uh, mock resources set up and tear down was it that before each yes this is okay no okay I mean okay I mean we can we can we can do it this way so original um, Ajax we do that let's call it post Ajax post right so in I guess we can do this before um, what was it uh, to, to, to set up and tear down so we need before each I guess before each um, prepare Ajax so I'm um, right I copy that yeah so we need a regional Ajax and I guess I will have to regional Ajax post so we have to define it uh, here and then after each we're gonna restore that right restore Ajax so that it's basically doesn't mess um, um, no observable Ajax post regional re come on regional Ajax post there we go right so in this case we back it up we restore it after each and then in the test case we can just say observable Ajax uh, post will equal Ajax post and in this case we created a function but we also need to say that it needs to return a value okay return value once and uh, in this case it's going to return something that has a response so and the response should be okay it's just a payload right so in this case uh, no errors yes okay so in this case uh, test true for example um, I mean let, let's just say a response yeah, data true whatever yeah something different so that we don't get confused uh, ourselves so then what we do is we do test uh, input which means that this should go through here this should go through here and then merge map and then if we subscribe to that uh, in the end we should actually get uh, both of those as uh, observables right so let's let's just check what actually happens here um, rest so okay um, mpm test and the question is how the hell does this works uh, hey, okay those are all the old tests and as a test should fail both tests cannot apply of undefined. Um, all right. Can it be? I mean, this is theoretically just a function, right? So actions, uh, maybe this is because of, no, this just returns a new object. So that should not be a problem. 
Um, let me think, what am I missing? And why does it actually call the epic middleware while it actually shouldn't do that, I think? Um, test 339, so... Wait, what? Um, yeah, epic source 4. Um, okay, I get no, those are just again functions. Okay, so why we would actions actions are just again functions that transform one object into another object, those are just constants. So, theoretically, that should work. Um, okay, can I is there a way? Wait a second, is there a way to just say just run only one test um just only one test because i want to run the whole suit right i'm not interested in the whole suit i just want to run single file or single test uh yeah okay so you can i can just say to coverage watch tests uh yeah okay <laughs> Okay, so we can modify npm test uh, for now and say to run. Um, so what is going to be source? Um, ta, okay, I don't need reducers anymore. I don't need utils. Um, I don't need actions. I don't need epics, right? Source uh, store epics and tests right so this is what we want let's test uh no i guess dot j dot test dot js maybe is that what you want to see yeah there we go okay cool so now here's the question why the hell does it um why does it even get the create store from Redux that that shouldn't even be there theoretically. RxJS uh, action types auth yes. So this only imports this stuff. This doesn't import anything. This doesn't import anything either. Actions on the import action types. Action types doesn't import anything. Where the hell does that come from? I am very confused right now. What is internal next tick? Uh, five undefined. I am so confused right now. What am I missing something? Am I not seeing something obvious? Um, right. Okay. You know what? Let let me let me just give this a shot. Can be that is because I'm messing with the uh, Ajax. No, that can be. Correct, right? Yeah, okay. Host test line three. This is this line. So, okay, here's the question. Will that actually work? Um, so in theory, okay, now it passes. Now, if I uncomment this import, it will fail with the same error. Is that what's, yes. Okay, why? Epics, oh, the yeah, line four. Line four is this. Oh, is it? Oh, I get. Okay, now I get it. Uh, that is a bit of a pain in ass. I guess this is. Uh, yeah, okay, this is the Babel issue. So because I um, import other stuff here, I guess I will have to change this import to be direct to um, error to message, right? So this is what we want. Then I want to import the parts that we don't actually need, and then it should work. <coughs> Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, that makes more sense now. Um, Babel is yeah a bit iffy. You know, if you didn't know before, then you know it's not exactly spec compiled. So uh, there are possible um, problems with it, like this one, for example. So let's uncomment that part. Uh, let's mock our Ajax. Okay, now we should actually see. Uh, is not a function of type. Okay, uh, let's try to do that. Uh, so I don't care about other part now. 
Uh, okay, of type is not a function, uh, but we are calling it on an observable, right? So um, why the hell? Why the hell does it not? Let me think about that for a second. So how do I actually create? Uh, what would be the better way to do that? Um, you know what? Redux um, observable was it? There ought to be some description on how to properly test this stuff. Because I mean, I assume it will be very easy to do so, but 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 maybe there is already a canonical way to do that. So let's. Let's have a look at that. So there's knock expect uh, mock store observable. Yeah, okay, so clean all payload. Okay, so they use knock to actually, I mean, that might be a good idea. And they actually use the store to trigger the actions, which in our case is done anyway in the components. So we want to test the. Um, RxJS test directly, which no. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Maybe they have something interesting here. Clearly no, yeah, okay. It's still, where we are testing the store itself. Reducer is fine. Yeah, so this is what we already did. Uh, yeah, but those are reducers, like where where come on where do you test the epics themselves don't tell me you don't test them that that cannot be true <laughs> action creators no okay wait this is redux itself god damn it i'm i'm looking it's like wait where do you test epics <laughs> check out just been example um just been examples are always good so yes uh, fetch epic expect epic Okay, this seems test scheduler, action, action observable, response, epic action. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so basically this is the function that does the testing. Epic provided is the, actually whatever the observable is, right? Uh, which means in this case, here we go. Action, action is create new action observable. Oh, it, is it because it needs to be hot observable? Is that the thing? Uh, that might be the case actually, rxjs. Um, let me see. So the problem is now we're using cold observable, right? So. Uh, which means that it emits the value once and then whenever you subscribe, you don't really get anything in the, um, as a response. So one way would be to actually just do that, which means it would subscribe to it immediately. And in theory, no, that's still right. Okay. That's still just menacing call it. No, wait, that is those errors are. Not what I thought they were actually, right? So what is this Jasmine a sink? Oh wait, is it because I am not actually doing anything? Um, expect true to be true with the, for example, is that what you want to see? Is it because I have a function there and I don't really test anything inside of it? Um, no, okay. Um, Function of type is not a function. Now, okay, this is the error from our observable, which is kind of, okay, I guess let's just do Eric's. Uh, I think you need to um, import everything, right? Otherwise I want, uh, I want to include the other functions, if I remember that correctly. No, uh, what? 24, three. So 24 is exactly this of type. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me think about that for a second. 
first of all, queuable function, function call is not a function. This Okay, I think I need to Google that because I have no idea what that means. Um, yeah, karma. So, okay, that is seems just uh, RxJS. I guess I guess that is the cl no. Okay. Nope. And now I'm confused. Testing. Yes, there we go. So sort equal x internals is equal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess we, I guess we gotta do the test scheduler here. So basically, we can take the um, um, take this test epic function here and uh, let's see if we can. So it's going to be our x test scheduler, right? Actual expected to be deep equal. Yeah, let's let's try it this way first. So um, then action is going to be that and here we're going to have action. So in our case, I actually just erased the action that we wanted, right? Which is a bit sad, but hey, we can do that um, again. Action types do login, payload, um, test, true. Um, that should be Rx action observable. Come on, stop with those. God damn it. Yes, that, no. Come on, Mac OS work. Yeah, so we can do that and. Uh, Rest to be truthy. I think that's what we want. No. Marble Phoenix off is not a function. Okay. Uh, let's. You know what? Let's let's just try and copy this whole thing and see if that actually functions within Jest. I'm curious because I mean, there are functions in the browser. We know that for a fact, right? So um, that. Okay, use a sin on. <coughs> mm, let me think. So we need this to be just. Um, so this is going to be just function and then mock return value once, right? I don't think we need two lines here. Clean that, clean that. Um, yeah, that looks good. So now then, let's try that. So expect epic um, login, right? And then here it should be expected. Uh, so expected is the expected output, right? So expected output should be what? It should be this stuff. The, um, and uh, identification. I guess this is going to make it an array, right? So this is going to be an array of two objects. <clears throat> One of them is going to be this type and uh, payload. There you go. And the other one is going to be a notification. Theoretically, that should work. <clears throat> Payload. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is we are going to mock the post request. Um, const response. Uh, so I'm going to define it here to just pass it everywhere. So this is trickier than I actually expected. I mean, testing. Um, text uh, what is the text there actually login success and alert type info so here we go that's what we should get here right this is expected um, action action is what exactly this is what we pass into it which means 
add the data um, or test true, for example. Then we pass in response. Response is okay. I am slightly confused right now. So this fetch foo, right? Uh, it calls API, takes until fetchful cancelled, uh, maps to fetchful fulfilled payload. Okay, let's see how it's expected. Fetchful. That is, what the hell is this thing? Right, I am slightly confused by this function right now. Okay, no, that gotta be simpler. I mean, come on. Mm, scheduler, so actual expected. Yeah, we can ditch that. Um, right, okay, let's, 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 just, let's just try to rewrite that. That is slightly confusing for me. Um, oh yeah, and we also need to do that, right? So our X observable, Ajax post, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so. Comment out this for now. Um, create test scheduler, right? We create new actions observable, which is um, observable of action in our case. This is gonna be um, our type action types to login and payload test true, for example, right? Response, uh, I guess, I guess it just uses the response to compare. Yes, exactly. Okay. So we already need that because we can do that manually, I think, uh, to be expected test epic. And this epic function store call. So theoretically, wait, so if I now subscribe to this action, I should theoretically get back the data we put in, right? That is, let me just turn off my phone for a second really quick. Um, there we go. Okay, now, what the hell is going on here? So it doesn't, okay, I, you know what? Like, let me just wipe the whole thing. We just, I, I am now very confused. Uh, is that the problem of chest? Because I had zero problems testing RxJS, um, like on using tape or, you know, whatever, and like watch I even, or whatever else test true, right, subscribe, console log res, and then expect res to equal test true, right, because this is what we should get in there. Now, will that work? Yes, it does, right, okay, now I'm even more confused. Um, okay, so, type action, um, we need to uncomment this, action types do login, payload, const payload test true. Right, let's, let's do it step by step. I mean, payload, does that work? No, it doesn't. Um, oh, right, because I am comparing it to a wrong thing. That That is absolutely correct. Um, input. Yes, let's say input. I mean, I do I need actually the array there? Maybe from will create just a one value observable. Is that? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I guess it needs an iterable there. Yeah. Right, there we go. So theoretically now it should work, right? There we go. Now it works. Um, of type, okay, I don't need that for now. 
Okay, let's see, action types, do login, right? So we do exactly the same thing the login function does. Of type is not a function. Right, okay. There's our problem, I guess. Um, so rigs.js of type is not a function. I'm guessing I need to include it somehow. Uh, Redux well, troubleshooting, blah, blah, blah. That, that seems very old. Uh, troubleshooting, yeah. I remember there was a note, switch map. Um, wait, was it somehow RxJS? Wait a second, Node.js, RxJS. Uh, do, do, do. Let me think, cut. I mean, theoretically, since we're using Node.js, you would assume they would include the whole thing, right? That might not be the case, but um, homepage, dev dependencies, where's the main? Ba, ba, ba. Main RxJS, okay. Um, Rx dot, 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 no, come on. Okay. Scheduler exports. Okay, so it does require everything, right? And our um, of, no, it's not there. Of type is literally not there. Or is, it, is of type a helper from, wait a second. Is that a, um, a helper or is it just of type no okay I wait a sec why is it not included in the default um, add operator of there is no operator of type observable of no of is like observable of, of value, right? Exactly. This is not what I want. So where the hell does this of type come from? Um, right, Redux um, observable. Right, this is getting <laughs> a bit tricky, but I mean, it should be somewhere. Action observable of there we go, of type, okay. Uh, okay, I guess that's what we want, right? So it's an actions observable. And I guess we can import it from, yeah, from, um, okay, so actions observable, right. That's what why they were using the actions observable. Uh, Redux observable, so that we need to use a different one actions observable from right okay and now that uh, whoops and pm test that should work right there we go okay cool finally <clears throat> so input stream is this can kill that that's what we're gonna do here um yeah we import login again so we don't care about register for now. And uh, npm test. There we go, finally. Okay, so the REST subscription will be triggered twice. Once for, um, once it should be triggered for the, um, what do you call it? The results actually, the second time is gonna be for notification. So we're gonna test both of it. So success, um, what we need to do is number one. Okay, I don't care about that anymore. Number one, we need to mock the function actually. So the way that we already did that. Um, yeah, okay, this is actually error. So Rick's observable Ajax uh, post. Okay, first we have to back it up. Const hold post. Okay, and now we say just function, uh, what was it, the return, return something, return value once. 
data true, right? So this is what we want. I mean, in this case, really, oh, respond, it should be response specifically. Okay, um, so let me copy that. Um, const response data true. Let's just do it that way. And then we only have that. And uh, yeah, here we just say Rx. Uh, I mean, I guess restoration and backup should anyway be done in a before after. Before each. Um, <laughs> so let's. Oh, nope. Let all post. Yes. After each. Ton, ton, ton. Uh, the other way around, right? Let's do it this way. There we go. Um, there we go. So we do that, right? We mock it. Um, expect first rest. So let's construct the. Okay, we first let's let's. Okay, let me save that and then we do npm test. See that it's actually. No, it's not working. Ajax post map is not a function. Oh, right, because it should return um, Rx observable, uh, observable from, right? So it should be an observable. Right, there we go. So now it should work. There you go. So, okay, cool. Um, so now we need to catch two executions so let response count zero right and um, if response count zero then uh, expect res to equal and that's what we want uh, and then in this case payload is the same payload we provided there we go and then else, uh, oh yeah, we need to read that response counts plus equal one, right? And then in the second case, we need it to be equal this notification thing. Which we can just uh, put here, format that really quickly. There you go. And uh, I think that basically covers the very basic test, npm test. Uh, oh yeah, we need to, no, we do restore it, right? So it does before, um, okay, what is uh, test rule? What did I screw up? Oh, um, yeah, right. It should be response, not the other way around. There we go, done, it works, cool. So this is login success, login epic. Now we need to test error. Should be much easier. We just don't mock anything. And uh, we don't really, okay, response is, we don't really care about response here because we don't mock it. Payload input, this is all the same. Um, yes, we do check both. But in this case, uh, let me just say, so basically we'll just look at the differences. It should be a login error and uh, a notification login error, right? Wait, what? Um, why did it just, why did it six? I'm, wait, what? Um, alrighty then, console log res. Wait a second, that that doesn't seem right at all. Yeah, login error, right? There we go. So why the hell does it succeed? I am very very confused. <laughs> okay, let me let me try. Type error. Login error payload. Um, I mean, I guess we're basically in this expect type. So we just, let's just check type, right? And then uh, notification, why is there no notification actually? So there should be lure type danger. 
and then the error message is yeah okay so we actually have to check um, the fields as well so type to be add notification right and then expect res alert type to be danger as we want uh, that should be capital B um, yes whoops npm test there we go right text ajax error there we go okay we can even test I guess we can just copy this whole um, thing over here Mm, res to equal there we go that should do it so there you go remove some formatting uh there should be login error yes then i guess we can check oh, whoops so that it's actually um ajax error res payload error Ajax error that is one deep message should be um, Ajax error right so that's what we want to see uh, and if I'm test this cool so that now actually works okay we got uh, login now we need to test the registration Oh, I mean, I guess we, we also have to test the, or we can validate that the function was actually called with, uh, uh, yeah, so we can do that. First of all, expect, uh, yeah, so let's do it this way. It's, it's just gonna be easier to test. Okay, it should be called once. And then there should be a way to test. Yeah, there you go. First argument. Yeah, so post first argument to be um, ta 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 this, right? And uh, second argument, I assume, is zero, 01. Is that how it works? Yep, exactly. So to equal in this case um, input, right? No, payload. Am I correct? CSM, good, awesome. Uh, and then we do the same for this part. Oh no, we don't because we don't really care about that part anyway. So the, the payload can be ditched as well because it doesn't matter what I send, it's gonna error out anyway. Payload, uh, yeah, there you go, cool. Okay, so we got error, uh, we, we, sorry, we got uh, I think login tests. Now we just copy paste that stuff and uh, write register epic success. So in this case, uh, we need what? We need do register. Tan, 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 that all looks good. So in this case, we call register response count, yes. So, and then we call it with API register. Everything else is very much similar. Register, no. I guess it's just going to be register success. There we go. Add notification and uh, there's going to be register success. Um, register epic error. So it's do register. Um, did I change it here? Yes, I did. Okay, good. And Ajax error and that's going to be register error, right? So in theory, that's actually all we need to do. Nope, I screwed something up. Um, oh, right, uh, since da, 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 um, register success, yeah, since uh, we already, no, wait, why is it one? Should be two actually here and it should be three over here, so. Uh, now, register success, expected two, got one. Um, so the thing is, <clears throat> am I understanding this correct? This one, 
this one doesn't actually get called two times for whatever reason. Which, yeah, so it only emits. Um, catch. It only emits the first one, but not the second one, right? Okay, now here's the question. Um, Fix.js catch. So how does the catch work? So I'm having a feeling that this my no, that's that's the old docs and we want the new ones. Uh, this is probably it will be easier to just look here. Da 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 observable. Catch. Yeah. There we go. So what can we, we can return observable off. Okay, so that should work. Actions identification. Uh, why does it not returns what we actually want it to return? That's a, that's a very good question. Or does it not wait long enough? Is that how it works? <laughs> I'm 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 gonna do something stupid to be zero. Maybe j just maybe just doesn't wait long enough. No, that I, I got a feeling that just just like closes without waiting for the second um, message. Is a bit weird. Okay, I think I need to figure out. Let me add to do. Figure out why a notification is not dispatched. Right. So this is. I, I mean, this is seems like a some issue somewhere. I'm, I'm not sure where it's. At. It looks like just really. Okay, which means that here that should be one. And that should be two. But actually, the, I, I'm guessing the in the second case, it's not going to get dispatched as well. So let me test this. And now we should have everything passing. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Git add source. Um, let me just check this was yeah, our just thing. Git commit. Um, yeah, add unit tests for login and register epics right so we got that and um, after that okay we don't care about that I actually do I even use that anywhere let me see hello world uh, yeah not in here is not what I'm interested about index Hello world action. We got this part. Yeah, it's we at least we add it into the store. And I don't think we actually use it anywhere. So I mean, okay, so I'll, I'm just gonna ignore it. And we're gonna remove it later. Got notifications. Uh, let's do that. I guess Notifi no notifications are test JS. Uh, no, there you go. So we can close that we can um, copy this and close that um, care about all this stuff. So in this case, um, what is their odd notification function from notifications? There you go. Uh, to, 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 to. I don't think we need post here actually, right? We don't really send any. Yeah, we don't send any requests here. So we're good. Um, notifications epic. So first of all, type add notification. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. Second of all, payload. Uh, merge map payload as notification. So for the payloads, um, we don't need this mock as well. We don't need this response as well. So add notification. There we go. Response should be only Y. Yes. Okay. 
uh, to, to, to kill all of that. Um, import identification payload. Payload. What does a payload has? It has ID. It has. And then it doesn't matter what it has because it is just adds um, adds everything and then removes it after five seconds. Okay, that's gonna be one long test. Console log rest. So let's just let's just see. Um, that is way too quick and it doesn't actually produces any results. Is there a way to say to just to wait for the um, expect true to be, I mean, that feels hacky as hell. Yeah, okay, but it doesn't really write anything. Um, testing asynchronous code, there we go. Call back by default. Just test complete once to reach an end of the execution. It means that this test will not work as intended. Okay. Okay. So you just get the don call back. Um. That's a. Oh, maybe that's why they work sporadically. So we, what we actually want here is we want to do that, and want to say don over here. All right. I mean, just did a pretty good job of. Um handling it on its own but you know i guess you gotta tell where to actually finish three done so let's test that and now it just never finishes which is uh, sync callback not a mode within time I'm out yeah okay that is weird <clears throat> so let's see console log rest right yeah that takes a lot of time but I guess it's just timeout basically right Login area, yeah, it only dispatches one object. What the hell is even going on? Right, so I guess I am gonna revert that change. Um, yeah, okay, let's, let's you know what, it, it works. So let's not touch it for now. Once I figure out why the hell does this thing doesn't work, we can add this done to whatever it should be. So done, and then done over here, right? Five seconds, type, yeah, there you go. So this is what we expect res to equal and uh, we want to remove the same ID, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, then we should be done and that in theory should work. And I mean, that's really the whole test we need here. So we wait five seconds. No, wait, what? Um, why does it time out when it just, it just... I am slightly confused. Um, you know what? Take until... So is there a default delay? Sync await. Just time out. I mean, maybe the timeout is like five seconds or something, and then uh, obviously it will fail. Um, timeout. Consider to increase. So what's the default one? Um, okay. I mean, let's let's try let's try setting that. So let's see, put it somewhere here. Four, five, and about now it should be triggered. There you go. Okay, so it was a timeout issue. Yeah, five seconds for. Yeah, okay. I mean, that, that's um, in 
increase test timeout to six seconds. Let's, let's say, I mean, we don't really need more than six seconds, right? Okay, we did that. We have questions and we have users. That seems relatively straightforward. Questions is, uh, there's a bit more of them. So we can close that. Um, the odd source, git commit um, for notifications epic, right? And uh, let's copy that, add new file. So users test JS. Eh, no, I want my old code, please. Thank you very much. So wait, nah, that's not what I want. Uh, and in users, we have what? We have a get user and we have uh, update user, right? So um, I actually guess, no, I don't wanna. Yeah, there you go. I actually guess the copying from auth would make more sense in this case because we, we have uh, network requests and everything. Right, okay. Um, and I can kill that part so I can copy it from the first part. So this is user epic get user uh, success. You know, say it this way. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, action type first of all get user then payload id so the payload should have id zero um, and there should be headers which in this case we can just leave empty uh, no i mean i guess i guess i guess i guess i guess we don't because we need to compare them right errors test one or three Whatever, just some random error. Um, response, so which means, yeah, so we do that. Is it post? No, it's a get request. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be get. Uh, da, 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 da. Get. Uh, and here we need, and the other one is a post, I think. Yeah, exactly. So we need both actually old get so copy that part old get uh, get and then old uh, get and then get over here ta, 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 ta. Um, so here we do get user um, we only will get one thing back so we don't need that part and uh, we can kill this stuff. So this is a bit easier here. Actually, I think I might refactor the part with a double uh, value emission because it's a bit kind of weird. I know I don't, I feel like there should be a better way of doing that. Um, and the rest response is a user. So in this case, response is user uh, test. Let's, let's just do it this way. Okay, so it should be called once. It should be called um, API user. I guess we need to. Um, no, I mean, um, we know exactly what it's going to be called with, right? So zero. Um, calls to equal payload. And then argument two would be headers. Headers. Am I correct? No. I'm not correct, actually, it's just headers, there's no payload. There you go. Okay, and um, there should be get, I mean, why am I actually using strings here? That is a get user success, payload uh, should be user response, right? So this is what we should see here. Now, npm test. Does that actually work? Um, no, it doesn't. Notifications get, wait, oh, um, yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> of course. Let's rerun that and then now it should work. Not quite. Argument is not a function. Are you looking for map two? Um, okay, what exactly is not a function map? 
uh, where does it come from? User test for for users. Sign request. For, oh, I guess is again the same. Um, yeah. Okay. Sign request. We're gonna we're gonna need to tweak the code a bit to make it testable. I guess in this environment at least. Uh, okay. There we go. Um, yeah. So it signs and uh, yeah. I guess six access token. Why? But it shouldn't. Let me think. Let me think. Sign request. So headers. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't really pass headers because, um, yep, yeah, right. Okay. That that's completely my own fault. Headers uh, should be this, so we know exactly what is gonna be there. I do not pass headers. Get the payload. Yes, uh, that looks good. Test now. It should pass in theory. Yeah. There you go. Cool. And uh, next time, whoops. So we test for the um, users epic get user error, right? Uh, so in this case, get user. We don't really care much about what we pass into it. Um, get user. And uh, in this case, um, it should be the same, but this should be action types get user error. And in theory, that should be sufficient. Those are really, really simple tests over here. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Um, and the next one is update user. So it should be more or less the same. So it's quite straightforward. Uh, no, wait here. Update user success. In this case, we pass in what? Okay, first of all, it's update user type. Yes. Um, update user success and update user error, right? So it should be a post request to the same URI. That is correct. Uh, it signs requests. So the payload is uh, okay. In this case, we have a payload. So let's add something um, test. One or three. Ba, 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 ba. This header should be actually on the last place, and then here should be the payload, right? And uh, response is still the same user, so it's good. And in this case, yeah, that seems to be fine. Are we passing? Done. There we go. Very easy. So once you figure out what the hell is wrong with the um, initial. Uh, Part of it, it's quite easy to add the missing bits. Um, okay, git commit add unit tests for users epic, right? And uh, the last one we have left is actually questions, which is, I think, the biggest one. So, questions test JS. We're gonna do that, and uh, I'm just gonna copy this part. And we're gonna go one by one and uh, do the same thing as we did there. So we have what we have. Okay, clean that part. Um, questions. So get all questions. Answer question. Um, create question. And I think there should be okay. Delete question and update question. Right. Okay. So we have the full crud uh, set of things to do here. Okay, we are using what here we are using uh, post, we are using delete. Okay, so this is all delete. So we need to mock the delete function. Um, turn it down. This is gonna be uh, delete and the other way around. So there we go. Uh, we are using post post get okay post get delete that's it nice right so this is first of all questions epic um, let's start with get all questions I guess um, there we go so get all questions yes uh, we need to, 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 to get all questions 
it uh, the URI should be that uh, oh yeah the question is also what do we use we use get here so the get should be mocked that is correct cool header so it signs request in this yeah so we have the sign request stuff ready response uh, questions so in this case questions and the response is get all questions success yeah there we go so it should be called with headers that is correct and um, I think that is get all questions that seems to be all we actually need to change so once you basically figure out the one tests for it then you know copy pasting and adjusting them is more or less straightforward uh, okay, again, the same issue we had before. Yeah, I guess it's again because of the util. Um, that is a minor annoyance, but this is purely because of the Babel and the way that imports work, since they are like not real imports, you know, in the sense that they are not limited to the scope of what you're importing, but they actually import the whole file, which means it will import a lot of things we don't actually need, so we have to rewrite that. Okay, um, now we need to write the um, error test, uh, which means uh, questions, epic, get all questions, error, right? So get all questions. Uh, we don't really care about all the other things here, right? So get all questions, error, and then the Ajax error should be exactly the same. I uh, forgot to change that, get all questions, test. That should be passing. There you go. Cool. So we got get all questions working. Gonna paste that here. What's next? Next is answer question. Um, then here. So let's see. Answer question uses post. So first of all, we need to um, adjust this uh, to post. I love VS Code refactoring features. This is just so, so flexible, so well made. It's like way easier to refactor code that you have with it than with just about anything else. Um, right, answer question, ta -da -da, answer question. Um, so that should be answer question over here. And same goes for this, right? And then here that should be answer question success. And in this case, should be answer question error. Um, we are doing a post here, which means that answer payload answer. So this is payload should have, no wait, the payload question ID. So that should be question ID and then answer is test. So let me see, um, which means that this should be two. On one, we should have answer payload answer, right? Uh, URI should be equal to API question zero answer right because we're using the zero id here um what else do i have here headers response yeah that seems to be it so let's um let's command the error test now i mean i guess we can just edit the package json since we're working with just um questions so that we don't run all the tests because like this five second unit test is a bit annoying there you go works cool uh, and then we need to write the test for answer question error exactly. And that actually should be very easy, right? Because it's exactly the same. Ta-da, works, perfect. Um, okay, let me remove that part. Copy, paste. Um, let me break some lines here. Uh, do, 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 let me think, create question. So this is our next target. Again, should not be very hard to do. Create question error is exactly the same, except I should be create question. So basically the um, types are different. <laughs> Success. And that should be 
post as well. That is correct. Um, we are posting to API question. Then we get a payload. Uh, so that should be just the payload in this case. And then headers. Okay, good. Uh, let me think. Am I missing something? No. So basically, response should be um, just the response. There we go. I think that should work, unless I'm missing something. No, works. Perfect. Uh, we created that, and I think we got like one tiny bit left. There's uh, two more functions, and I mean, the lead question is is probably even easier because it doesn't even return anything. Delete question. So what do we do with the delete question? First of all, we're using delete here. Um, so let me refactor delete. Uh, no, delete. There we go. Um, yeah, OK, right. You cannot call it delete. Uh, let's call it del. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. So let me see. It should be question uh, zero, right? So because this is the ID we're going to use. And there should be headers which is our XHR token, which is in this case zero, but we don't care. Um, request and uh, response payload. What is this payload actually? Oh, it just returns the self, okay. Um, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it doesn't really matter uh, in this case. So we don't really need to return anything in this case. Can just yeah do empty object i guess that would do um it should be payload id zero i think because it uses it in the uri generation exactly and then um delete question this is what i want and delete question success and the same goes here delete question payload so against id zero and uh, but I, I guess it doesn't you know doesn't really matter that much because it won't be sending any requests anyway um oh wait a second i am i am an idiot <laughs> because i actually didn't use the correct functions here um answer question of course i've been testing the exactly same wait how, how did that exactly work get get away um create question I, now I am confused. I guess they are so similar that maybe they can be refactored to just be like one function. Um, right, so we now only have update question. Okay, let's test it. I mean, theoretically, they are so similar that it should pass anyway. Okay, there is one error. Um, payload, this is answer question success. Okay, let's see, create question, answer question. There we go. Uh, expected payload user test okay payload right answer question ta -da -da, payload question okay so this this actually mm, yeah should be just that right uh, now that error is fixed and we have can read property ID of undefined this is inside answer question error uh, which means ID zero. No, is that? Oh, okay. Question and um, yeah, so that it doesn't throw errors because there are no properties. So that should be there. We go. Okay, now it's actually correct. Uh, and the last tiny bit uh, is our um, update question. So delete question, that should be update question, update question, update question, there we go. Update question uses what? Uses post. So we are um, going to post here, post over here. That should be update question. Uh, ta -da 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 -da. This is update question success. In this case, update question error. This is going to be update question. Uh, let me think. What do we need to change? Um, headers, payloads. Okay, so we are going to be testing headers for two. Payload in one. 
uh, response. Okay, so the response will be yeah, that looks fine. Test. Come on, is there no? Okay, I screwed something up. Uh, let me see. Payload undefined. Uh, oh, right. Um, what does it actually take? Question. Okay, so it just takes the whole, so we can do that, right? And then it should work perfectly fine. Nope. Um, payload undefined type of eight questions. Okay, what did I not? Oh, response. Uh, of course, response. So I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess we have to add no const response. Response data true, and then in this case, payload should be a response, right? And if we test that, ta da, perfect. So we got that. I think we basically at this point we tested everything. So what I need to do is um, do clean that out because we don't really need that. Um, git add source. So add unit tests for questions epic. Now if we run npm test, we should hopefully get everything green. Okay, the notification test is the longest one. Ta-da, 61 test passed 8.3 seconds, but mostly because <laughs> this one test that takes five seconds, which is slightly annoying, not something I would want to have, but hey, so I guess that is a very good point to wrap it up. We have the front end unit tested now. Um, the I will make, an, so next thing will be the video explaining all of that in a brief, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. And then after that, we can get to the deploying the whole thing um, with uh, GitLab CI, I guess. So thank you for staying with me and um, as always, see you next time. Bye.